Hello, this is a demo. Oh hell no. Nah. What up dog? I'm gonna help you all today with the SPSS. So you know I have a lot to do, but I am just working. Working hard so I can please you. First of all, let's go and make a new file. Data. You get a variable view. You name that shit. Okay, mm. I don't know. Apples. Shoot like, like apples! <laughs> Numeric, yeah, probably would be numeric. Let's keep the decimal, aka Arqam Battle Fossil. And you wanna label shit, you just, you put like the formal name. So basically the formal name of apples would be number of, of apples. Values, you could keep them for now. Columns, everything is about all right, you know. So scale basically means it's quantified, got a data view. So, since we have this sequence, we could, basically turn it into an SPSS database. So, so we have 20 baskets and each basket have a particular number of apples in it. We could go to analyze and descriptive statistics, frequencies, and then enter that model. Oh then go to statistics and here you could find the different parameters. Not the different parameters, but like all of the parameters. As mean, median, mode, sum, skewness, maximum and minimum. Then you could go down to the charts. So the charts, that's the only kind of manual thing you have to fucking learn. As for this shit, it's probably gonna be good for a bar chart. So as I was saying, you could choose between frequencies and percentages. Basically what that means, if you choose frequencies, it's gonna go up depending on how much twos there is, you know? Let's say for twos, there's one, two, three, and then four, five. It's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, following the frequency. If you're gonna follow percentages, 20 is gonna be 100%. So 5 is 0 0.25, which is 25% if you are stupid enough. Well, let's confirm that, shall we? And if we go down here, yeah, about exactly fucking right. It says 25% for 2. Next up, we're gonna be comparing means or moyenne if you are francophone. Well, here you could choose, we're gonna go with this one because when we have one variable, we can even use the ANOVA. But we're gonna go with the simple thesis because that's what he used mainly. If he told you that the mistake will be 1%, so here you're gonna have to change it to 1% because that's like the confidence interval percentage. So it's gonna be 99 if you had 1%. Continue and uh, okay. No, if you're gonna go down, you're gonna see one sample t test. And that's a wrap, everybody. I hope it helped you out. If it didn't, I honestly couldn't care less. Good luck living your miserable college lives.